the private 5G equation has a lot of variables, right? And no wonder why we're still kind of debating how to solve it. Uh, my point of view, it goes beyond a discussion about pure uh, radio technology. I mean, private 5G solutions are readily available and so on, but it's really about the business proposition, the benefits that we're trying to position towards the end users of these applications, which are enterprises. Early adopters of private wireless networks are seeing a return of investment already within six months. That's the true benefits of 5G. One of the key outcomes with over a thousand enterprises that have now started to commercially launch and use private networks is that business outcomes are the driving factor for their business case. A business outcome of increasing productivity, reducing downtime, or having their greater efficiencies within their environments. We see a lot of momentum in private uh, wireless networks uh, being driven by sectors that previously haven't been able to um, improve or modernize their technology. So pr private 5G and private networks, uh, private cellular networks anyway, provide in some instances better coverage versus uh, Wi-Fi. Private wireless, we've been talking about it for a long time. It's finally starting to come into fruition where we're seeing people understand the use cases that are available for private wireless and how to really drive them. One of the key aspects is security and the convergence of the rest of your connected technology. Private 5G obviously has not taken off as expected. And I feel that there are three key things that are missing from the equation. And if these three things were to be fulfilled, I think private 5G would take off in a big way. The first is manageability. Private 5G wireless networks have to be as easy to manage as Wi-Fi networks. The second piece I see is cost. If private 5G wireless networks are at a significant premium over Wi-Fi, again, that begs the question, why use these networks if they're so much more expensive? The third thing I feel is private 5G needs a purpose in life. And by that, what I mean is it can't just be solving the data network connectivity problem. That problem has been solved through Wi-Fi. So if you're just using private 5G to connect end devices to either internal corporate networks or to the internet, that's not, that's not good enough. We really need private 5G to be viewed as a network that connects edge computing applications to end devices. The enterprise class wireless LAN market is undergoing a massive expansion right now. We've had three consecutive quarters of over 40% year over year revenue growth. We haven't seen that kind of expansion since 2004.